My name is Mo Khalil. I'm an assistant professor of biomedical engineering at Boston University. My research is in the areas of systems and synthetic biology. Uh, living cells carry out remarkable functions. They grow, they develop, they sense and adapt to the environment, they even perform computation. What we try to do is put computational and quantitative and engineering approaches to try to understand how they do these tasks. When we think about synthetic biology, we really think about uh, biological circuits within cells. So what we're doing is we're taking biological components, molecular components, assembling them in new and interesting ways in cells to uh, carry out functions like produce biofuels, uh, produce chemicals. We're trying to coax cells into differentiating for stem cell regenerative medicine applications. We're trying to rewire the immune system to combat cancer. While a lot of the things that are, we're working on in my lab are foundational tools, systems for reprogramming organisms that could potentially benefit in the longer term, we're definitely working on things that could impact society in the short term. For instance, uh, we're working on uh, genetic switches that we could embed into cells that could control the production of a vaccine, for instance. So a patient would come in, be given a drug, and could be passively immunized from some infectious disease. We're also working on synthetic biology tools for diagnosing counterfeit drugs, which is a major problem, for instance, in the third world. Federal funding is absolutely critical to um, our type of research. Uh, it's the lifeblood of most academic research in science and engineering. Um, it's definitely the lifeblood of research in my lab. And I think federal funding through NIH, NSF, DARPA, are playing very important roles in shaping how synthetic biology is going to impact society. Federal funding allows researchers like me to be innovative and creative in our research. Some of my hopes and aspirations are to help direct, shape, and push this new field of synthetic biology in new directions, to see that it actually impacts society in the future.